For a few seconds. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to Turn Order Warped, Episode 7. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Good, we have a ship. <laughs> we have a ship. I, I'm about yeah. to not be able to hear anything for two seconds. Hype! Well, I think we'll be all right. So, everybody, if you have any insults you want to throw at Fuzzy, right now is the time. Uh, I hate you all. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn lie. And you know it. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Warped. Oh, God, it's happening. I'm so happy. <laughs> we um, have a ship. I'm going to not crash this one because we're in space. So just please no, uh, please no asteroids. Just avoid <laughs> asteroid belts, and we're good. Yeah, that's fine. There's no asteroids in space. Here. We don't have a lot of power. Okay, looking at these handouts, we don't, we don't have a lot of anything. Um, nope. We're fine. Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, welcome, everybody, to Turn Order Warped. Uh, in, in case you're wondering, uh, a lot of us are, are pretty hyped because the the uh, the crew has finally leased themselves a ship. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done, team. Well done. <laughs> we're, we're a tiny little bit excited about it. 
A little things. bit, a little bit. Rich. Uh, I'm still, I'm still coming up with names, even though we've decided on one. Oh my um, God. But let's <laughs> wait. Just before, just before, I don't want to announce it yet. I figure I the best can. way to do it, <laughs> the best way to do it, is to actually just do it when it comes out, right? You know Are you going mean? to do a Star Trek motion picture scene? <laughs> Absolutely, we have because that was the only good thing about that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, I feel like that's necessary, right? Like we, we have to do that scene. It has to be that one. It has to be that one. Um, yeah, so the crew has, has picked up a ship. They have picked up a ship. And we, we looked at some of the names that uh, that the chat came up with, and uh, a lot of them Killed were really... Killed the to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they were, a lot of them were really dumb. I'm just going to be honest, guys. A lot of them were really stupid. But it's okay. I like the cupcake one. Yeah, there that wasn't one was as good. many right. testicle cupcake. references as I was expecting, though. So the, the, there was, I, well, well done. It's wrong and bad. Well, there, did did anybody catch the Harambe? I didn't yeah. see yes, Harambe oh, and Shippy McShip base. Yeah. I would and have voted for both. The advanced <laughs> Harambe, the Mara. <laughs> the Mara, yeah, yeah. I was gonna I was gonna change it in the handout to lowercase the e and uppercase the you know caps the h, just in case anybody missed it. But I was tempted to put it on there. Um, yeah, so the crew Harambe has. Harambe sounds like a Shakira song. Harambe, Harambe, oh. exactly. Right? More, there's more. There's more twerking that's going on though. Guys, um, we got to do a show. Don't get me thinking about Shakira right now. <laughs> not dying. Why? You're not standing up. Her hips don't, don't lie. Damn hips don't lie. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, welcome to Warped, guys. We, we uh, somebody is owning their microphone so yeah. hard today. Fuck! I bet you it's me. Yeah, I bet you it is you. <laughs> You that have... Gryffindor blanket. <laughs> Fucking Gryffindor. Always Gryffindor. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. I'm always hyped uh, for the weekend, and it's finally here, and we get to, we get to do some uh, good old role-playing in space, 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 space. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen the show before, uh, you're not going to know what's going on, but it's okay. You'll figure it out eventually. Um, uh, it is a space opera role-playing game uh, that we're playing. Uh, it's based on the What's Old is New uh, role-playing game system. And I think the bot should be working again. Um, I had like a random power outage last night and forgot to turn the bot back on. Ah. Okay, there we go. Um, so, uh, if you're curious about it, you should check it out. It's uh, created by a guy named Morris. Uh, he's uh, on Twitter, at Morris, um, M-O-R-R-U-S, uh, on Twitter if you want to check that out. Uh, super nice guy. He's been helping me out with some stuff uh, for the show, uh, giving me some information, clearing some technical crap up. Um, this is the first time that I'm running a campaign on this, so it's there's definitely a bit of a learning curve as I figure stuff out. Um, and I changed a few things and have butchered his system, but that's okay because we have a show and we're trying to make it entertaining for everybody. Um, so I think we're ready to just kind of Hop into things. Let's let's go around the room. Let's uh, let's do some let's do some uh, introductions. Why don't we start off with Mister Iron Chef Bobby Flail? Introduce yourself. That's good. Character. I'm Iron Chef Bobby Flail on Twitch. Uh, I'm currently doing a playthrough of Yakuza Zero. It's amazing. Come by and watch if you want to see some crazy stuff. It's it's honestly like picture like Yakuza mobster meets action JRPG. It's it's foolish. Um, can't wait to play it today. I'm playing Felix, the uh, space cat Han Solo. And uh, this is going to be a great episode. We got ourselves a ship. And, yeah, let's do this. Can't wait. I am excited. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy. Oh, sorry. I was shouting at Brad. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. I, I'm, I'm Fuzzy Freaks. I, I, I do things. I, I play Lunk. I, I hate introductions and stuff um, because I get, I get really, yeah. Hi. Every time, every time, never <laughs> fails. Like, how never many? How many have you done by now, Fuzzy? Uh, what do you want to say? Like fifty, fifty to hundred intros uh, on yeah. on just role playing game shows. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. It's just something about it, it's like I can talk shit till till for, till the cows come home. But like if 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 it's like tell us about yourself, I'm just like <laughs> it's basically what my brain does. And it's a good thing that you're playing in Ogron because that fits perfectly. Yes. Uh, Tuesday. 
Hi, my name is Tuesday Gray. I also dislike introductions, but I really like that we have a ship. We have a ship. Did I mention we have a ship? We definitely have a ship. I play Glix. I am a space elf Venetian. And um, we're going to hack and science and awesome our way through space and probably cook up some drugs and make lots of money and do really incredible things. And I'm amped. Cool beans. Well, she said. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Tuesday's going and Fuzzy's just like. <laughs> you know? That's so funny because I hate introductions. <laughs> Not as much as I do. Not as much as I do. Zagatagus. You're muted. You're still muted. And you have a pen in your Hey, everybody. I'm Zagatagus. Yesterday, I encountered for the first time ever a triple layer deja vu and almost had a fucking anxiety attack. It was brutal. Oh, ugh. Just thinking about it makes Triple me feel... Triple layer deja... Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, I got a deja vu, and then I was like, oh, shit, I'm getting deja vu. And then I had deja vu about getting deja vu, and then I got it again. Whoa. Everything already Deception. happened. I've, I've never gone the three. I've done the two, and that's okay. freaky enough. Oh, okay. oh, well, I oh, think I've done, like, three once, but I was on some fairly interesting chemicals at the time. Camden is one hell of a drug, Fuzzy. Well, uh, it was acid, actually, I think. I play Hawk, who is a giant badass robot with an axe and a shield and uh we've got a ship now hawk is fairly happy about that he he is happy with the weaponry he specializes in in ship gunnery and uh like private security and special ops um and uh, that's pretty exciting i have a pen and also i have a nice uh, gryffindor throw here any gryffindor in the house Gryffindor, what, what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, alrighty. Well done, Zagatagus, well done. Uh, Peachy. Hey, yo, yo, it's your boy Peachy. Slytherin represent. Intros, bitch. Yeah! That's how you intro. <laughs> Peachy, did you know we've all got a chicken duck woman thing waiting for us? A what, what? Chicken <laughs> duck woman thing. A duck. Every day. Anyway, I'm PG Pixley. I play Arthur. I have no idea what's happening, so I'm going to ignore it and carry on introducing myself to you. Uh, also, this show is in is in memorandum of John Hurt, right? We're all oh, agreed. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And now I'm sad. Thank you, PG. Sad. Don't be sad. Remember the good times he brought you. Exactly. Long, oh, he was long lying on a table, Done his insides yeah. bursting out. I am a robot, so Black can't make me be infested by an alien that will burst in my chest. But you humanoids, watch out. You do have a butt trunk. We've, we've established <laughs> that is now canon. It could be like a nanobot thing. Oh man, a, a cyber xenomorph? Oh god, that's... Happened to John Hurt? He he died. Yeah, he yeah. passed away, unfortunately. Yesterday. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well done, Peachy. Um, <laughs> uh, That's how you intro, Fuzzy. I want I want one of those oh, from oh, you. Brad, wait a minute, wait a minute, Brad Water. I have no idea who John Hurt is. Brad, I will cut you. He's trolling 100%. Everything he, that comes out of that man's mouth is... 100%. I mean, he is an uncultured pig, so I wouldn't be surprised. I honestly think he might be telling the truth. Yeah, but yeah, damn, that's why handsome. That's why he gets away with that shit. That's why That's why he gets away with that shit, Bobby. Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, I am Wax Steven, and I am the DM of Doom, uh, the GM of Doom in this case, because we're not playing Dungeons and Dragons. We're playing the Woin RPG, um, and I will be dragging these guys, kicking and screaming through the adventure today, and I'm excited. I'm excited, because they get to kind of do what they want, and uh, we can see what happens from there. Um, if uh, if you like what I do here and you you, you want to see more of it and stuff, uh, I'd love a follow um, at Wax Steven on Twitter as well. And uh, I'm gonna be working on uh, some 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 cosplay for the show. We got some we got some foam helmet action going on here uh, that we're Wax, sort of Wax, stop showing on. everybody your helmet, okay? Why? I, this it's the only it's the only way that I can show my helmet that off on Twitch help. with without breaking the TOS fuzzy, okay? Man's got to do what a man's got to do. For yeah. But is it modeled from life? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> it exists. 
It has strange growths on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> and a weird stripe. Yeah, yep. that sounds about right. Yep. It's a little mega exactly. manish too, the way it kind of angles down to the front. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna, there's gonna be more, more bits on it and, and whatnot. It's gonna be more, yeah. Bits. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I got fuzzies to snarf. There we go. Perfect. No, not quite. Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty. It's See, fine. But, I can drink through my sinuses. It's fine. <laughs> Good for you. It adds flavor. Um, so uh, welcome everybody to Warped. Um, and uh, yeah, let's let's hop into things. Let's hop into things. Last session, the group uh, was escorted with their um, with their uh, I guess hijacked. Uh, sort of uh, is the best hijack hijacked a hijacked ship. And salvaged. Sure. It's salvaged. Yeah. That's a good one. Salvaged. Halvaged? I don't know. Salvage. <laughs> Salva yeah, that's that's the one. Um and Halvage uh, sounds like some sort of tapas. No worry with that. Um oh, so the so the uh the crew uh escorted a a hijacked uh salvaged ship from some pirates uh back to a highly questionable and super illegal shipyard uh, where they were able to sell it, make a f- bunch of fat bank, and uh, they decided it was time to lease themselves a ship. They got themselves a ship uh, set up. When we finished off the last episode, the group had visited the uh, the local tavern inside of Remy's Ship Emporium, Uh which uh, which Remy was kind enough to lease them a ship. And uh, you guys have just now finished up your drinks and you're making your way back to your newly fueled up ship. Um, now, I've given everybody a whole bunch of handouts because there's a whole bunch of shit that's on a ship. There's a ton of stuff. And everybody has their own special role on the ship for things that they do, things they need to be aware of, and stuff that they're keeping track of. So, you guys have yourself eight missiles loaded onto the ship. You have yourself uh, six units of fuel. Look at it like this. Each unit of fuel will take you one parsec. That's on Peachy's handout, by the way. Peachy's got a lot of shit to keep track of and is going to fail miserably. Peachy, if we die, it's probably your fault. <laughs> I yeah. feel like a lot of those That's things would be available to like system, like computer systems on ship anyway. Maybe. Um, what I'll probably no, do here... fuck you, mine. <laughs> He's just like, no, you're only allowed to access these from the engineering bay. What, That's it. what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the stuff to be seen by everybody. Okay. Um, whoops. But uh, what we're going to do is only the people responsible for those systems are going to be in, are going to be able to um, edit the the sheets. Okay. Um, so um, let's take you guys over to the map over here. There you go. Um, you guys have just finished up your drunken debauchery in the um, small tavern at Remy's. Uh, Remy's Ship Emporium. And uh, you sort of drunkenly make your way back to the ship. You can see from behind, you've got the uh, the the new shape of your ship. You can see that they've just finished up uh, fueling you up. Um, and uh, the clack of the missile bays um, loading. And the way that the missiles load on the ship, they're loaded from the exterior. Uh, into the front uh, missile uh, compartments. Um, everything is set up on your ship. You guys are heading on over to the ship. What do you do? Um, is it like yep. a far walk? Yep. From the- um, yeah, I mean, you guys are probably at one of the first hangars, um, and it's just like basically like a sort of rocky, long hallway with some... Um, you know, some metal corridor. It's like a metal corridor, basically, and it's just, like, maybe, like, 15 hangars or something um, just sort of built into this asteroid. And all the way at the end is the, uh, like, the pub tavern area, and you got Remy's workshop there as well. A few other rooms off to the side. 
but it's generally kind of a rusty, uh, filthy kind of place. Lunk, lunk hungry. Lunk make sandwiches. Do you have sandwich supplies on ship already? Uh... Did we, did we gather other supplies for the ship before we leave? Medical supplies, arms... That good plan. Cause, cause if, if we don't have food, then, 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 then we die. And, and Lunk no want to be meat. Yeah, um, so in order not to die, we're going to need to stock the, the med bay. And I need some uh, medigel, and I could use some more spray dressings, and uh, I need a cellular regenerator. He should uh, check if they have stores available for this on planet. So there's like a, um, I mean, there's like a sort of, rough looking bunch of guys that are sort of like fueling the ship up and loading the missiles in and whatnot. Um, this is not like your typical kind of like hangar crew. Like these are like seriously sketchy looking dudes in general. Uh, uh, Lunk will wander up to, uh, to, to probably the, 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 I don't know, the closest one just be like, Lunk need food. Where? So um, it, it's probably like a, a seriously crusty looking human. Looks like something's a little wrong with with this guy's face. You know, it's like a little, it's like a little droopy. It'll scrape off. It's yeah, fine. it's it's like a little droopy, like you know, like Bell's um, palsy. Mm, yes. Yeah, um, and um, he 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 just kind of looks at you and he says, uh, oh, "Food? Well, you." Can... You can try the pub. Maybe you will save some food. No, uh, food to cook on the ship, so we no die. Does this look like a grocery store? No. No. I'm sure there's some planets Lunk, nearby, Lunk. I Lunk need no where food. Man's tell where food buy. Lunk, I don't. I think this. Uh. Yeah, and and I'm kind of tugging on Lunk's arm, which is really highly ineffective. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> just Lunk, this... <laughs> what you do? Can uh, I shake my head disapprovingly and get on the ship? Sure. Of course you can. <laughs> um, but just mechanically, I mean, you guys don't have any food, so you might want <laughs> some. <laughs> oh, she gets some food. Man, where I buy foods? Wow. <laughs> You can try the pub. They might sell you some. I think they got some rations I can sell you. Uh, maybe some uh, grognac soup or something. I don't know. That doesn't have arms in it, does it? <laughs> uh, tink. Tink. No. I don't think so. Okay. Long it- go to pub. By foods. I've never been really sure what exactly a grognac is. I just kind of eat it. It's a little salty, but whatever. Mm. Um, I'm going to stick my head out. We have a spaceship, everyone. We can go and buy some bloody food. Mm. He's right. You know. <laughs> I'm just doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna stumble they, off. They put, just... may, they put maybe several days away. What will you eat in the meantime? Look here, mate. We can get to food within no time. Promise you. I believe that is incorrect. <laughs> I think, Arthur, that you're just excited. I think it is more logical to pursue some form of sustenance on, on this planet. Did I you think... see the pies in that bloody pub we were just in? They'll keep us alive. I'd rather eat Lunk. Lunk. You, a Lunk and I will go Lunk with no me. I, I slap him. You slap <laughs> Arthur? I slap him. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? I, like I think we've food. established that Arthur will not eat people. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? No, no hit Arthur. No. Sorry. Sorry. I, we played you, you crazy man. 
We drank. <laughs> it, it has Long. made me feel slightly illogical. Monk and I will gather rations and food for the trip. Doc, yes. Making sure the ship is ready. Hmm. Okay. We, we, uh, we did, her. We did we get the fuzzy dice for, for the mirror? That's something you need to have on the ship, right? Felix, did you, did you get the fuzzy dice? Mm. You were most interested in them. I saw you swatting at them. Did you happen to make off with those? Felix, like, isn't really paying attention. He's sort of, like, really drunk from the pub. So he's just kind of, like, leaning on, on Hawk. He's kind of looking around. Mm. What? Did you get those, you know, the, the, and, I'm, and I'm making... Did you get the fuzzy dice? Mm, and he starts kind of Very cool. interested. Mm. Uh, you, we don't need that. You probably have that like one drip, like every time, anytime like a cat goes to drink from the water. They always have that mm-hmm. one drip that remains and they like. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 if you're drunk, are you doing the moon thing? Probably, yeah, sure. He's totally doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I move away from him um, uh, and. Uh, and uh, gather Lunk and uh, head towards the pub. Yeah, Lunk, Lunk isn't particularly drunk because it would take gallons. Uh, why don't you? Why Arthur, don't you... Arthur isn't drunk because he's actually immune. <laughs> don't go <call> sober. <laughs> so, uh, Lunk, give me a uh, give me an endurance check. Oh God! Right, hang on a second. Let me just fire up my bullshit. Um, right, uh, endurance is forty six. Okay. And do you have Hardy? I the skill Hardy. I do have Hardy actually. You yes, can add okay. that. <laughs> I do six. Oh yeah, no problem. Mm-hmm. No problem. No, fine. You gotta. You probably just have like a slight buzz. Yeah. I'm gonna wander <laughs> off down the corridor, just yeah. grumbling something like, "You don't need bloody food. I can push buttons." Hit me. Just... I'm going to, uh, I'm feeling a slightly how I would think of it illogical. So I'm, I'm going to get on the ship here and, and probably, uh, go to the cargo bay and maybe start doing some push ups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stumble over to those, those other six people who were sort of fixing up the other ship. They said sort of looked like they were kind of no good. Yeah, they're they're probably they're pro- they're just like a shady looking hangar crew. Um, so yeah, there you guys just to sort of go over some different parts of the ship here. Um, let's uh, sort of like run through a little bit. Um, so you guys got you got a port and a starboard airlock. Um, the area near the airlock, uh, these these like rooms over here. Um, those are basically empty right now. Uh, you, if you want later, you can upgrade them to like, say like decontamination rooms, um, stuff like that. Um, but they're empty for right now. They're basically just like, like fucking storage. Basically that they don't really have any purpose. Then you got yourself the tech lab right there. Um, that's where, say, like, uh, probably Glix and Arthur, if they want to work on any kind of projects or something like that, that's sort of like the project room. Um, she can bloody whistle me. You see what she did to my face? <laughs> right. Um, and uh, if you, you, you're going to have to buy some stuff for it. It's, it's p- kind of bare bones at the moment. Um, then you got yourself the sick bay. That's right there. Uh, you got yourself the galley right there. Uh, you got the crew quarters, which are right there. Um, you got, obviously, a bathroom. You got secure storage right here. You got your uh, utility room and laundry room right there. Um, you got engineering right here. You got your life pods that are there and there. The turrets. Uh, you got a you got a ventral and a dorsal turret, so one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, that's the ladder uh, where you got uh, basically like um, hatches that will you know like open up uh, when you want to go into the turrets. Um, and then uh, this like central hallway here is like where you've got all your power relays and all that shit, uh, Arthur. Um, obviously, up at the top you got your 
um, your cockpit uh, with detachable shuttle. Um, and right behind that cockpit, you've got like the transport area and airlock for it. Command source of separation. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Glix is uh, just going to kind of clean herself up. Um, meanwhile, Lunk and Hawk head back to the pub to try and buy some uh, some rations and stuff. Um, the uh, the bartender is a rather uh, a, a rather uh, happy looking uh, boron uh, man um, with uh, blue skin and um, white uh, like white uh, beard hair. Um, and uh, decent sized beard, about Peachy's length, something about that, like that. Um, and um, uh, you would know this guy as uh, Turak. Okay. Greetings, sir. We would like to buy some food supplies. Are they available in bulk? Ark. Ah, yes. I uh, can sell you uh, your rations, yes? Okay. How many do you need? Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> this, this, this many lots. I think to be safe, we need about two weeks supply for four. Hmm. I look at Lunk. Five. This many lots. So we would need. Let's see. This 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 many lots. Around a hundred rations. Lots, lots. Mm, uh, Make it two hundred. Uh, very well. Uh, that, mm, I Dunk can... also needs. Uh, ooh, the the herbs and the spices. Uh, 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 and copper bottom frying pan. Uh, 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 I don't uh, have uh, any of that. Whisk. Uh, what? No. no we, will, uh, we will go to the specialty trader for those. Okay. Lunk, Lunk needs herb. You and are thinking of better stock plays. I am uh, here because uh, friends with Grammy. Eh. Uh, but no to have uh, uh not to have uh, uh lots of supply okay okay L- lunk can do ting with supplies that that cool that okay right many many lots do yeah uh, i will have uh, uh, bring them to your ship. How much will the ration cost? Uh, I, it, uh, hmm. He starts to like take out this ancient calculator. Like it's probably has like a the little strip of like paper, you know, for like doing taxes. <laughs> yeah, the, like the little receipt. Yeah, he's it's like a he just stacks it on there. It's covered in filth and like ketchup and well, God knows what else. Um, and uh, he's like, yeah, it is two credit per ration, so four hundred. L- Lang's gonna sort of lean over the, the 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 counter and like put her knuckles on the bar. She'd be like, "Do we get bulk discount?" And 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 attempt to be. It, it, basically, I'm gonna attempt to intimidate the guy into giving us a bit of a discount. Just the, the bulk discount is a ting. That a good ting. Bulk discount. Now, word I learned. Sure. Uh, do you do you have intimidate? I skill? do have intimidate. Okay, yes. so go ahead and roll me uh, your charisma plus your uh, intimidate. So that would be 46 altogether. Okay. Oop. Oh, ah, 
Hmm. Okay, I'm rolling really well today. Uh, 12, 16, t uh, 21. Um, so he just kind of, he, he just kind of, uh, he kind of leans one bar, one, one arm on the bar, like right next to you, and he just kind of is looking up at you, and you hear the, bulk discount, and he, uh. and he smiles, and he's just like, just teeth. It's like beard and teeth. <laughs> Big smile. And you hear the whine of a uh, of a weapon charging up. Is that no? That there is a uh, no. Okay, Dad. Yeah, I get my credit stick and I uh, touch it to the. I assume he's got like a credit stick scanner. Yeah, he's got like a little scanner. Like a touch pay thing and make sure it takes out the. 400 credits Jeff for 200 Jeff told me you should always try to get a discount. Maybe uh, lots of places, but uh, not here. Okay, Dan. Thank you, sir. We look forward to receiving the shipment. We'll bring it soon. Thank you, man. Bye, bye. You can see this like young, uh, also blue-skinned Borean uh, with like this weird, like poofy, uh, like just more horizontal than anything beard. Uh, that's also white, uh, just sort of like running around. <laughs> And he keeps like showing f multiples of five on his hands. And uh, this this like smaller version of uh, uh, begins to uh, run around frantically, uh, checking their storage areas and whatnot. And he starts to pull out like this little um, uh, this like little uh, hand truck kind of uh, thing. It's like loads up this pallet full of these uh, rations. You can see he starts to load them up. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's probably going to take him about ten minutes or so to get that done. You guys heading back to the ship, I take it, while he's doing that? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so the rest of you, um, Felix, uh, you've sort of gone over to these uh, shady-looking to this uh, yeah. shady-looking group of uh, hangar jockeys, um, yeah. sure. Well, are, they, are they are they just like so? Exactly, where are they? Are they? They're not just like working on a ship or something, are they? Are they just hanging out? No, or? they've you, you, they've already finished up with your ship. They've already like loaded a whole bunch of shit onto there. Uh, you know, the fuel and whatnot. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, the cargo I the cargo hold has a has a tan out. Um, just for your normal ship uh, systems and like miscellaneous stuff, that's taken up thirty cargo units of your three hundred. Um, and so you have uh, one hundred and thirty-five uh, on each side um, for for stuffs. Um, the food is gonna take up, uh, we'll say, two cargo units. Okay. I that in here. Yes. Um, but yeah, they're they're working around. Uh, they're just sort of like lazing about, and sort of like any ships that are coming in, they get they have like little lights at the end of each of the hangars that sort of flash when there's like a ship that needs to be serviced or something. Okay. So you can uh, see they're just kind of like hanging out, smoking, God knows what. Yeah, I sort of uh, I stumble up. I'm still kind of drunk, but I'm trying to hold it together. Um, Excuse me. Uh, would would any of you happen to have some some paint or some spray paint or something? Uh, spray paint. Uh. Mmm. Rami might have some. Uh, we don't usually keep that shit around here. Well, why not? Well, it's not our job to make the ships look pretty. Uh, can you go get? Can you go get the? Can you go get the paint for me? 
the hell do I look like to you? I'm not some goldfish. I'll pay you. <clears throat> You're gonna pay me to go get paint for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he, yeah. he just kind of gets like a look in his eye. Hundred credits. Mmm. Mmm. Well, go get me a sandwich too. Fish. And you got a deal. <clears throat> Done. Okay. <laughs> I'll be at my ship. What a suck. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, and so he's like, uh, credits first. Mm. Nah. And I just turn around and walk away. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I go to I go to where Remy's at. Uh, okay, so Remy's probably like back in his workshop, um, down at the end of the hallway, and this is like the longest hallway that you've ever been in your life. Um, at least <laughs> that's the way it feels like. Be- and the hallway is just doing this. I'm probably kind of swaying back and forth, and just trying to. I'm probably using my tail like a lot to sort of like try and keep my balance. It's just like shooting out randomly, and, like holding you yeah. up against the wall. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it takes you like some good time, uh, and as you do so, you can see like Lunk and uh, Hawk walking down the hall as uh, you make your way to Remy's. Um, you can see Stinky's outside. Uh, this uh, sort of yellow-skinned, uh, like pretty bright yellow-skinned uh, Spartans outside with the uh, big ass plasma, uh, with his big ass uh, plasma uh, cannon. So he like stinky. So he's actually stinky, I guess. Uh, he g- give me, give me a, I mean, uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Uh, that's just okay, forty six. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so he's got a cert. He he actually is not. It doesn't smell that bad. It's just very weird. He's got like an odd smell to him. It smells like. Um, like not what you'd expect like a Spartan to smell like. It's not like like body odor or like sweat or something. He sort of smells like a like an odd um it smells like some kind of uh like meat product. It smells like you you can you can sort of like remember the smell from somewhere but you're not quite sure where. It smells like a like an odd combination of like spices and meat. It's actually Chanel 700. <laughs> the future version. Uh, I stumble up. Uh, stinky. Uh, is Remy in? Ah, Remy. Yes, you buy a ship from him. Remember? Yeah. Can I go talk to him, please? <sighs> Thank you. And then. I- yeah. And uh, so you hear you hear Remy's voice. What is it, Stinky? I cat person here for you. What cat person? Yeah, one by sheep. Oh, what the hell does he want? I hope he didn't find out. Uh, uh, is he there now? Yeah, is he here now? Oh shit. Uh, fine, send him in. Door opens. Don't take anything. I should. Okay. Sure. Uh, So does the door close, I guess? Is it just... Yeah, it does. Okay, I go over and sort of like kind of act as I'm sort of like probably showing a little bit drunker than I kind of actually am. I'm going to go grab a seat. Mm, Remy, uh, uh, can I get some, do you have any paint, uh, some spray paint, maybe? Uh, spray paint? Um, yeah. Well, let me, uh, I, I think we got something. Uh, hmm, hold on. He uh, starts to, like, fish around, and it's just, like, piles of shit in there. You know, like, he's got, like, these large, like, um, just, it, it's almost if, like, you took your junk drawer that everybody has and just like dumped it out onto like every surface that you have. Uh, it's just piles of that shit. He's got like all kinds of transistors and relays and stuff that are all over the place. Uh, he just starts like digging stuff uh, and he pulls out like 
Um, he pulls out like a few cans of this uh, odd-looking spray paint. They're like small. They look like um, they almost look like cologne bottles or something. Uh, mm-hmm. But there's like no, there's like no top to it. It's just like it looks like just the bottle part. And he says, "Ah, here we go." And uh, he uh, he turns it over and he's got like this. Li- there's like this little. Um, there's this like little uh, pad. Um, on one side, and it's got like a few buttons on it, and he goes, I think these still work. What do you need it for? Uh, um, when I was drinking at the pub, I, uh, thought up a name for the ship. I was gonna paint it on the ship. Oh, it sounds good. Yeah. All right. Um, also, a uh, quick thing, uh, what was it that we weren't supposed to find out? Uh, what do you mean? I overheard you talking to Stinky. Um, what was it? Can you tell me, please? Uh, make. Do you have any, do you have any kind of persuasion? I think you only mm, have bluffing or anything, right? I have bluffing, um, but that's not really. No. Um, give me a charisma check. Uh, and I'm gonna use my last luck die on this too, but okay. I, I rolled that after, right? I'm rolling like a fucking demon today, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ. Well, uh, Eleven. I'm gonna still do it anyway because I called it. Okay. Uh, um, so um. Just the first. So he says. He says, look. He says. You're not gonna get the kind of ship that you got. Without there being a few problems, that's mm. all I'm saying. You, your your okay. command and control pu- computer uh, in the power core, you you don't have a lot of power. Mm. So you're gonna have I to. Think, sh- can you uh, quit? Mm, can you just put it all in writing for me? Writing? Yeah. Just the- type it out, maybe, please the hell are you talking about well just so i know all the all the deficiencies look it's everything if out. it's a good deal or not it's bad business to sell somebody a ship worth that much money and not tell them everything that's going on with it and he's I'm felix is staring him dead in the eye right now your engineer had plenty of time to look at that's fine over. but there's still probably things that it may take time for him to find out so it'd be best if you could just tell us everything that you know about this ship up front and then I'll just go with the paint and thank you. I'll leave the paint behind too. I don't need it. I just want to put the name on the side. Do you want to know the name? No, I'll t- no. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Drunk Felix is legit. So he's just kind of looking at you and he says, What? <laughs> you said like 12 different things. He's just kind of like, are you all right? Perfect. Never been better. We just bought a ship. But I just need to know what's. Don't on lean the- on that. That'll blow up. Oh, that's. I probably just kind of hop back quicker than I probably should have. Um, He's like, yeah. "Boy, you crazy? That's a plasma relay. If you, <sighs> well, actually, I probably shouldn't even have that there. Uh, well, uh, look." You guys got a great deal on the ship. You talk me mm-hmm. down. It's a great mm-hmm. deal. But there is some stuff that's, you know, you, you, you didn't get a brand new ship. If you did, I know. It, it'd I be, mean, you're probably looking at, I don't know, 150 million credits here. And you guys can't yeah. afford that shit. So, look. I understand. And that's all All, all I'm asking is just to know what's wrong with it. It's it's going to be fine. I've already, I've, you, you, I've already let you guys have some information on the ship. Your engineer should have it on his panels. And look, just because I like the cut of your jib, I'm gonna let What's you. A t- jib? I'm gonna. Don't worry about it. I think it's a little bit beyond your scope right now. I'm gonna let you take this spray paint. You can have it, considering it a going away present. Okay. Now go away. I'll go away, but. There best not be anything too crazy wrong with this ship that you're keeping from us. Is there any sort of 
Felix sort of scratches his chin. Return policy. If yeah. Something goes, if something breaks. What like, what what happens is, if uh, you don't return my money, that oh, we'll pay I you. But you if something ship, breaks on it, what what the return policy is is if you die or anything of that sort, uh, I send my boys out and they hunt down your family or your friends and then they kill mm. them. And, or That's fine. Get the money from there. I buy any of those, so. It's not a big deal there. Um, is that all? Yeah, I gave you your pardon gift. Now get out. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. And then Felix gets up quick and turns and walks out. Probably like quickly now and less noticeably drunk. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run back and hop up on the side of the ship. Um, I guess the I'll hop up on the back like up on top of probably like the left or left storage bay, like up where that is. And I'm just going to be up there. I'm going to be just painting away. Okay, sure. Uh, so looking at the little spray things, it's got like a little, it's got like a little bullshit, like L- like, um, uh, like LCD, like little screen on it. It's like some cheapo, like bullshit one where you can sort of like draw with your finger, like, some symbols or it has like a little keypad to like put in some letters or something and it's got like a little font changer on it <laughs> and uh and it, it like you hit the go button and it just kind of like <laughs> it like flies it's like a little like little tiny spray paint drone so, that's really cool so like b- before i do that like i guess i get to like punch in like what i wanted to do like do i get to pick like the font and all that yeah like, how does it... okay. yeah like the I'll first just... thing that pops up is comic sans yeah, that's uh, that's literally what it was going to be. <laughs> so I was good. Yeah, but literally in Comic Sans, uh, on the Comic Sans on my ship. So, <laughs> so it's literally it, that's the first because that's the first thing that pops up. Felix doesn't care, so he's just mm, accept mm, underlined <laughs> exclamation, and then he types in the name force italic, blows it up the biggest he size font he can, and just gets the drone to painted on sure it's sort of like sort of like putters off um and it starts to head away um yeah so uh the food has been brought into the ship uh you guys are all sort of ready to go the the um the spray paint uh drone has sort of gone off and started to uh paint away um hawk and lunk you guys have returned to the ship uh arthur what have you been doing while all this has been going on um, so I'm on the ship comms. Hello, engineer into sick bay. Nothing, nothing's picking up. Brr. Engineer into Glex. Chief Medical Officer Glex. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Arthur, <coughs> what do you want? <coughs> Put my hand over my bloody fucking doctor's ill man what the fuck <clears throat> uh, I'm having a bit of trouble with the accelerated neutrino activators could you take a look at the transport bay run interface for me <coughs> Arthur <coughs> Arthur have you have you checked the astrophysical dampening configuration <coughs> do I look like a monkey uh, okay don't answer that yes I have <laughs> uh, I'll 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 be there in a minute. I'll be there in a minute, and I'm kind of I'm I'm I've clearly emptied my stomach, and I'm splashing water on my face, and I'm just <clears throat> uh, and I head on over to engineering. What what what's what's the problem? I mean, well, basically, we've got enough power to run a a marshmallow in here, and uh, that's about it. Uh, could, I don't, is there any way this, this could wait until I just, I have this, there's a pain. I've got a pain too in the side of my face. Don't know uh, how it happened. I d- <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, hmm. is there any way this can wait until after, until after we rest? No, I- no it's not pawn far, is it? Because <laughs> you're a lovely lady and all, but you're not really my type. It's not- <coughs> it's not the pond far. 
<laughs> Great, this is good. No! I, when are you due for that? Because uh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it totally means something. I'm not a Vulcan. It, I'm a Venetian. Maybe I could equip Hawk with something Vulcan. that could help you out. Arthur. Yeah. Sorry. What? I'm a Venetian. At the, I'm different than Vulcan. <sighs> You're all you see the no ears, way. and you just. Uh. What, uh, all right, my bad, but you look pretty all sick right about now. <clears throat> well, I just... You had 17 beers back that there. stuff that we... Ugh. I Look, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling less than logical. I... Can can we deal with this? Alright, let me switch power to your sick bee. But we can't take off while we do that. Like I said, marshmallow. <laughs> and I just kind of... I just... I'm mumbling things and I, I wander off and I... Considering going to sick bay or just going to pass out on the bed, and I, I'm, I'm sort of wander, and I, I make a decision, and I cut right, and I, I head over to the bed, and I just, I pass out. Okay. Uh, Bloody Vulcans. So you go into the, the crew quarters. Going to, uh, go into my crew quarters. Okay. Can I guess get some acknowledgement on, on, on the pon far finger thing I was doing? <laughs> No. <laughs> but I know the pom far finger motions. Great. That's good. That's good. Um, all right. So everybody's on uh, on board the ship, or at least uh, Felix has just finished up. Stumbles stumbles back in. Felix, give me a um, give me an endurance check, please. And if you have a hardy, then you can add this to that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> you got a 1d6 for endurance? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's hope you don't go not unconscious because you get, if you roll a 6, <laughs> you're just dead. He's only a skinny dude, so. Yeah. Skinny cat man. So uh, you're not doing well uh, by any means. As, as yeah. Uh, yeah. You're using your tail periodically to just, like, keep you up. Like, um, uh, you probably like smack into the into the door. Uh, <laughs> the wind like, cattail thing going on. You, you keep like expecting the doors to open, but like these doors actually require you to like push the button <laughs> on them, like to clear the bulkhead. So you just keep like, Pong! Oh! and like it takes like a second later before you hit the button on the doors, like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess like at this point, I, I guess I I drank so much. It's only probably like 20, 30 minutes since then. It's actually now starting to kick in, and I'm really hurting. Yeah, so, uh, it's rough. Yeah, I'm just gonna stumble straight to uh, the the room there by the okay. by the just lie down and pass out. I guess hopefully not get sick. And when I when I sleep too, I'm gonna lie down on my side because I <laughs> I remember that I, one of his old friends. Got in a lot of trouble when falling asleep on his stomach and he threw up. So he's gonna <laughs> make sure that if he does get sick overnight, he's in the best possible shape. And I don't know if people see me, but like it's probably a, I'm making a racket as I'm sort of like stumbling into the ship. But I'm just going straight to the bed. And if anybody tries to stop me, it's one of those things where like I guess he's so drunk where regardless if you're there like right in front of him telling him something, he just doesn't even comprehend that you're there. And it's just I'm going to the bed. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm just walking. Just going to the bed and yeah, so that's <laughs> passing out. I guess your pilot's passed out drunk. Okay, uh, cut to off, and he's like, "Perfect, let's take off." <laughs> <laughs> Science yeah. officer passed out drunk. Pilot passed Lunk's, out drunk. Yeah, Lunk's slowly and methodically putting all the rations and things away and 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 making sure the kitchen. She's like really slow, but she's like, "Okay, that go there." It's just all vacuum packed. Frankly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like military rations. They're all like mm -hmm. they look like they're uh, like granola bars or something, except like in shiny wrapping. Um, and uh, you just kind of like <laughs> lining them up. There's just you open up the cabinet and it's just military rations, <laughs> <laughs> but like perfectly arranged. She's just like re being really methodical about it because she's like, okay, I'll put the things away. Sure. We go. And then and then and then after I've done that, I'm gonna try and make some MRE stew. Out of what? 
MREs. <sighs> oats. Nothing but oats. <laughs> so, like, letters M, R, and E? The, I, I mean, I don't know if you have those laying Russian around. Russian stew. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Um, so, uh, yeah, you just, you have water and you got, you got rations, mm -hmm. um, and you just, I'm, just I, uh, I'm assuming I managed to get hold of at least some salt and pepper or something. Uh, probably not actually. You probably don't even have salt or pepper. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to cook some. Does Lunk not have a little chef's kit? That's true. Actually. Probably, you do. Probably... You do have a chef's kit. So you have, okay, yeah. you have your own little like handy yeah. dandy little pocket pepper. Just, yeah. And. A, a really nice chef's on shing yeah. but uh, yeah okay well I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna make some some MRE stew okay what's in it stew <laughs> uh, should, should we roll for cooking uh yeah absolutely go for it uh it's like cooking plus uh cooking plus uh intuition <laughs> probably right yeah it's alright okay um, yeah, it's, I mean, uh... It's edible. Yeah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna take away a little bit, because you only got military rations to deal with. Um, yeah, it, it's barely edible. It tastes, uh, you know, you, you probably, like, forgot to take one of the wrappers off first, and then you realize, like, a second <laughs> oh, later, like, oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh! It's oh. fine! Grind it up! <laughs> uh, so you, you grind I it up. Engineering the bridge. There's nobody on the bridge. It's just... Hello? Engineering the bridge. Engineering the sick bay. Hello? Hello? I'm going to hey. come storming out of engineering. <laughs> Lungs in the kitchen. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So I'm actually do, I've got my do. my my internal comms tuned to the to the ship's uh, frequency right now, so I'm hearing all this. But because he doesn't say to hawk, <laughs> I'm not answering. That's my military training. <laughs> no people in that, right, Lunk? What? There's no people in that, right? People, persons. No, no, no meeting. No, I, I, we got. Uh... You weren't meat, Lunk. No, meat is meat. Agreed. Yeah. Where the bloody hell is everyone? Do, 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 do ah. want some stew? I, uh, I saw Felix. He went to that way. He was. His tail was too indecisive. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Right, and good luck with that. It wants to. Sure. Yeah. Stu. Thank you. You can see like lots of different shit floating in there. I mean, it basically looks like, you know, if you take like a, like a, like a power bar, you know, like it's just like a a brown like power just bar. Soak it in water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's just you know, it's chopped up. It's basically up. breakfast bar porridge. Yeah. Right. It all we oh, have. It no, all we I'm have. sure look, it's lovely. Look in the cut. Look, look. That's that's what we got. Just that. Lunk, just out of curiosity, do you always need lights in here? Well, Lunk, no see in the dark. So... Right, and what about that oven? What, uh, what about the oven? You don't need that, do you, to cook? Yeah. I need Balls. That. Wow. What about this electric tin opener? You don't need that, right? Well, no, Lunk can bite the cans open. Okay, it's 0.0001% extra power. Hawk, are you here? It comes back. What is it, Arthur? 
this may sound like a silly question here, Ark, but uh, where the bloody hell is everyone? Hmm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, was wiggly tailing. I believe the original. I have never once wiggly tailed. Thank you very much. Well, maybe once, oh, but I was young. No, <laughs> not Arta. De Felix, sorry. I was thinking about biting cans open. I believe the crew is recovering from the effects of excessive alcohol consumption. At the most, Felix had 22 points. Yes. That's like breakfast. That's yeah. excessive for us, Dylan. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, because, right, the, it's like the bigger you are, the, the more you have to drink before you go all wibbly wobbly. And, and Felix and Squishy is tiny and therefore they get filled up with the beer quicker and it makes them wobbly. I turn off my comms but realise she's standing right there. <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, uh, so they they gonna be wibbly wobbly. Sometimes they throw up when they like that. Ark, uh, do you know how to fly this thing? Mm, no, but I could guess. I mean, it's good enough for me. Very well. Is we need to talk. Come, come into the kitchen. Um, Lunk's made some lovely stew food. I'll be there for Why are you woggling your fingers? Uh, it's stew. It's not food. It's not food. Arthur. It's stew. Arthur. Hello, Ark. You got here who, quick. Who is stew? This, this is stew. Would you mind storing that for me? I put in fridge. I hope not refrigerated. Food hygiene. Give give the stew if you don't want. Do you need a fridge? <laughs> yeah. Basically, Hark and Lunk. Lunk's putting killing film on the top of the stew, and <laughs> we just like and, and, and write. Well, she's not going to write the date on it because she can't write. But she's just going to be like. A smiley face. Right, basically you two. Um, we've got just enough power to breathe. And move. Okay. okay. That good. That's, that's about it. If we want to um, protect ourselves, or heal ourselves, or pretty much anything, we're kind of buggered. So we mm. holds our breath then. <gasps> Arthur, where would you say we need to upgrade? Uh, CPU, 100% right now, if possible. Last week, if not. Hmm. Yeah, would that be something you could do if you had the equipment? Or do we need to replace it entirely? I would need a brand new CPU, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, I've done my best. <clears throat> Excuse me, them beers <laughs> messing with my accent here. I've done my best <sighs> back there. Uh, did well, that help? No. I'm not going to say no. I will. But that's mostly because no. you're bigger than me. Mm. Well, when the crew is recovered, we can leave. We have food, so we can make that our priority. This isn't a car park. He's going to want us to get out of here. Very well. I, will, I uh, go wake up Felix, Dan. Perhaps Lunk can do it. Lunk knows how to drive a vehicle. This is can, a vehicle. Where, what? Can you fly spaceships here, Lunk? Do you want to be the captain? Just temporarily. Oh. Only for a little while. No, get to do the I, I tried, they, they, they tried to show me how a ship worked once, but I, I got nervous and, and, and I pulled the ting too hard and it came off and they shouted at me. 
Right, I've got an idea. You know that cling film you've got there? Yeah. Take it with you and make sure Felix sits in his seat if you know what I'm saying. No. You might need a bucket. I don't get it. <laughs> you will when you're old enough. I don't. You want me to put Felix what? in deceit and give him cling film? <laughs> <laughs> and I think bucket. he's got it. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Pick up cling film, get a bucket out from under the sink. And slide. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into Hawk. Do you, do you think she had any idea what we were saying then? I'm not sure if I had any idea what you were saying. Right. <laughs> so, Are you I, on the fritz again? Do we do we need to check your wiring? I, I I'm gonna try and wake Felix up, by the way. Felix Wake up Uh it's honestly it's whack, it's up to you because I mean I don't know if I'm actually gonna wake up or not, or if there's a roll uh, or... well uh Lonk is shaking you. I mean uh you know, give me a perception check. Perception? Yeah. It's like, well, honestly, if I'm that drunk, I mean, if I'm getting shaken like that... We'll say we'll, minus, we'll minus a die from your perception. Uh, for also throwing up all over the bed. Yeah, that was, that was actually kind of one of the things I was thinking as well. Well, it's uh, that's step two. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sounds good, sir. Three, okay, cool. Ten. Roll to okay. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Lunk, give me a, give me a strength check <laughs> plus brawling. Uh, I think that's a 5d6, probably. That's a six, actually, that's a 6d6, but well, I can only roll 5, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you shake the shit out of Felix uh, to the point where he falls out of the bed. Uh, Felix, oh. uh, give me a uh, give me a, an endurance check, please. Oh, I didn't realize you only had one. A yeah. single die friend, yeah. It's really close to leveling up, but <laughs> I'm, for, for the early stuff, I got it. I rolled it too. Uh, yeah. So you just you totally just lose your lunch all over Lunk's sh all over Lunk's shoes. Oh. <laughs> and then oh. I probably cough up a fur ball too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably more like. <laughs> oh, Felix. Oh, oh, well, I got to put you in your chair. So come on, I'm just going to pick Felix up. I'm, do I even need to roll for no, this? No, no. So I just pick Felix up, sort of like drape him over my arm like a towel. <laughs> and, 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 and. Uh, we cleaned that up later. It's okay. I I'll just sort of like take Felix to the cockpit. Okay. Yeah. You just uh, you clear the you go through the cockpit airlock. Um, Arthur, I got Felix, but he's all floppy. He's all what? Floppy. Look. Confused. <laughs> oh bloody hell! He was sick on my shoes as well but that's okay that's why you had the bucket lunk well I, I i i wobbled him and i think i wobbled him too much and he fell on the floor and then he was he's fine <laughs> okay so uh uh so oh oh i know how to make the people feel better if they's had too many bit right hang on a second i can do this Gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take Felix to the uh, to the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna put the shower on ice cold. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna sit Felix gently in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, wake up! We so, got to so fly the ship. I, I feel like as soon as the water goes on. Give me another perception ah! check, Felix. <laughs> hey, I feel like minus just, the one right, guy. You, you want a minus again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, as soon as the water turns on, your ears do the the swivel thing, where you like, and like even though you're super drunk, 
Your 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 paws just kind of shoot out and like. <laughs> you just no. <laughs> instantly like putting them up against the shower door. Feel it. So I'm just trying to sort of get the arms and gather them in towards the, just just. just. <laughs> got Felix. Mm-hmm. We got to put. Wake up. Can I at least try and jam his head under the shower? Uh, sure. Give me a give me a, another strength check, and I guess if you have like uh, there, there wouldn't be any resistance either, like at all. So if that makes any, any okay. difference, okay. Um, yeah. So um, you don't even have to roll if Felix isn't going to resist. Okay. Yeah, you just get kind of uh, tossed into the shower, Felix, yeah. and this ice gently, cold water. Gently. Uh, yeah, but gently for Lunk is tossed. So you get like <laughs> no, Lunk is very careful with 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 delicate things like you know yeah. friends. So he makes a delicate thump. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hello. And uh yeah, you get placed into this ice cold shower water and uh it's it's like a blast to your system. Uh give me give me an endurance check here. <laughs> oh. Um it instantly seems to revive you. And Does it do this, the cat scrabbling thing when they hit the water? That... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Just like whatever base rea- like cat reaction back. would be to be getting hit with cold yeah. water. Flailing, usually. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you you instant you you look like a wet rat, and suddenly um, you're even tinier. Yeah, it's yeah. just you know you're yeah. you're you can just see your 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 skeleton basically like wrapped in in wet fur, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just, your clothes are hanging limply on you. And I, I just sort of like stand there, like a little, like literally a drowned rat. I just sort of like, <laughs> just kind of like shift my eyes up the lunk and like. Felix, we got to fly. You you got to fly the ship because we got to go. Uh, and they asked me if I wanted to fly the ship, but I, I, I said that last time I tried to fly the ship. The tingy that you do the ting with came off from my hands, and I taught that mm, that would stop, make stop, me stop, cross. Stop. Uh-uh. stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. Can you can you p- put me in the in the seat in the just car- can you would carry you, me? Yeah, I could carry. I, I go on. Like I get a towel and I, I, I so sort of like wrap it, Felix in a towel. So they actually the the bottom of the shower. Um, is like a it's like a graded um, area, and there's a switch uh, next to the shower that says dry. Oh, in that case, dunk. <laughs> and it sounds it sounds like when you when you use the hand dryer in the bathroom, except way louder and way more intense over your whole body. Like, and it's just one of those things. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and, and you just That's a good it, inauguration it, speech. <laughs> and it's just suddenly like <laughs> probably like, completely dry and they get yeah. really fucking really really just, sloppy. I'd say just <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh come on Dem Felix. I just sort of like I I'll, I'll just sort of pick you up and nestle you in the crook of my arm because it's I, like, I guess that's just and, and as Lunk's carrying me, I was like, hmm, can you can you bring me some fish sandwiches, please? Yeah, would do like some coffee as well. Uh, yeah. I think, I think there was some tuna in the MRE thing somewhere. I think I can make you fish. But yeah, I I can make yeah I can I I do the t- there we go there we go. Does you need the bucket? Hmm. Would that be a check for me to tell, or because I just I'm gauging how I'm feeling? Uh, okay. we're gonna say that you're you're feeling you're feeling a lot better since you took the okay. shower. Okay. Uh, what okay. you can do is you can uh, add a status track uh, for yourself. <laughs> okay. And let's see where you're at here. Can you uh, imagine eating a fish sandwich when you're hungover? <laughs> hey. He's a feeling, okay? It's like it's like a full fry up to us. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh, um, that game is amazing. That's the best. That's exactly. Oh, uh, that fry up in a boat li- glass boat lion brew. That's the tip. That's a Scottish cure. Needs to be um, in a glass bottle. Um, let's see where. It is. <laughs> We need conditions. 
Someone's track. I can never find stuff in here when I need it. it like, <laughs> never fucking fails. Uh, countdowns from 43. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? It might be under injuries. It might be under injuries. Um... We're just gonna say queasy for now, and we're gonna queasy. say we're gonna say that it's uh, it is probably the step after mild, whatever that is. So moderate. Moderate. It's yeah. a D six. One D six. Yeah. Against what my endurance? It's everything. Everything okay. that you're rolling. Flat D six. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, you get, uh, led to the cockpit. Carried, gently. <laughs> but, but Lung's probably just, like, fluffy. <laughs> you don't actually have a word for gently in Ogron. <laughs> so they just use the I, common I, I, word. I, I'm carrying his, him, sort of, like, more gently than I would an Ogron baby. Because, you know, Ogron babies are basically just carried around probably by one leg. It's like, point. They bounce. By the scruff of their head. Ah. But yeah, it's just like, but you know, friend, friends are delicate. Okay, so Felix, you get plopped into the chair. Everything's like, you know, there's switches and flashing lights and stuff everywhere all through the cockpit. I, I sort of like slowly and methodically go through the switches and stuff and like as I know what I'm doing, but sort of slowly that I am kind of hung over. It's kind of flipping this one flipping that one turning some dials checking some stuff i probably hit i'm gonna hit the comms um uh, arthur's uh we good to go uh arthur i'll bring you a coffee there uh, you go i'll have to cycle power to the ftl drive but we've got subliminal engines up sweet dude uh let's go dude <laughs> and i just fl flip the switch boop and comes so and, uh, um yeah uh they have like a like a uh you know to to clear the hangar there's there's like a force shield you know in the front of the hangar basically that's keeping the atmosphere in um and like one in the back um and uh you start to uh flip through the pre-flight uh checks and uh you call up the um the comms i guess to contact uh uh you know the the uh, flight coordinator or whatever that Remy's got, and uh, you hear, "Yeah, are you ready to go?" Yeah. All right. Uh, I think Remy still has to program in uh, transponder for your ship. Uh, what the hell did you want the name to be? Mm. Black Fang. Black Fang. Okay. Yeah. That's a good name. I had a Black Fang once, but then a dentist pulled it out. I probably like. So Lunk is like sitting in one of like the you. navigator chairs, like behind you. Knees <laughs> up near, you know, sort of like chin. Um. All right. Uh, you're clear for launch. Here we go. Opening up the forward shields. And you see, like, and uh, I get the shields en open up. Engineering to bridge. Yep. Full power to subliminal engines. Free to aye take aye. her out. Aye, aye, Mr. Dent. Put <laughs> power to the engines and uh, fly out of there. I'm, 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 I'm I'm gonna, yeah, well actually before I do, yeah, so I'll just lift up the ship, uh, retract the landing gear, and just slowly kind of put forward, uh, put power to the, uh, the the engines and sure. slowly up out of there. Give me a piloting check, and you're minusing a 1d6, piloting plus your agility. Piloting plus my agility. Uh, By the way, this has definitely woken me up. 
I'm I'm stirring about now, splashing water on my face again. Well, look at a little bit of. Motion. I was gonna roll my my last luck die too, that I didn't roll earlier with Remy. I have one left. So sixteen. Sweet sixteen. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So the ship like rocks a little bit. You're just kind of getting used to the controls and how it handles, and it just kind of like. And that's where we're going to take our first break. We'll be right back, everybody, in five minutes as the crew of the Black Fang sets off in 